I'm 42 years old. I got at least another 25 years of this. And I'm worried that I'm not going to have that. I don't have anything to fall back on because this is what I've done my whole life. It's what my father's done. It's what his father did. My uncle does it. My brother does it. My son does it. My whole family does it. This basically is perhaps the end of an era. Fishermen have fished from the ports represented by our sector for 350 plus years, continuously. These are all family owned and operated businesses that basically once out of the fishery will never return. We're now looking at 50% of 50% or 25% of our recent historic landings. I submit to you that this is absolutely impossible, that no small business can possibly exist on 25% of the level of business that it had been conducting in previous years. I spent like 240, 250 days a year on the ocean. And I come in this year, a couple of trips, and we're not making a paycheck. And I'm catching as much or more fish than anybody around me. So I'm working hard for it. I come in, I turn around, I go back. And I didn't, I didn't used to come to these meetings because I figured you guys was here taking care of this end. And I was back there working, trying to make a living. And I figured somebody was looking out for us, but apparently not, and that's why I'm here today. I got the most invested than anybody in this fishing industry. I employ at the moment close to 300 fishermen. I have invested over $50 million into this business. If you people think that the wrong decision today, and you cut this yellow tails to 500 metric ton, it's going to be one survivor standing up. Me, I'm not going down. I'll be the last one falling. You can rest ashore. But that's not the accomplish we're trying to do. Some of these people in this room, they are in their last leg. You pull the plug here, they're gonna fall. I have no idea what we're gonna do with this boat. I'd probably sell it, I think. I mean, I've got enough fish to last, as they say, another six weeks, maybe. And then I can't, I have nothing else I can do with it. It's cost me $1,000 a week. Now it just basically is draining the family finances. It, just, it doesn't make any economic sense. What's the agenda here? What's the agenda? Is the agenda to put these people out of business? Once the ratchet turns on a, a family fishing business, it is probably over. Once the ratchet turns on a fishing port, it is probably over. The working waterfronts, the community life, and all that is good about fishing besides catching fish and making money will disappear as well. So I leave you with that thought, and I hope that you think carefully and wisely in your vote today. Thank you.